Today we're going to take a look at the moon. That's no moon. The moon, which can strike fear into the heart of broadband astronomers, <laughs> is our closest neighbor. It's illuminated between 0% and 100% 29 days out of the month. Today, using the EDGE 11 telescope and the ASI 294MC Pro camera, I took some shots of the moon. I'm Mark Murin. And that and more coming up next on Astronomically Speaking. Switching over to moon mode, in this case I'm using the ASI 294 MC Pro instead of the 224. I have it going into a nose piece with an IR cut, 16 and a half spacer here, and then the advanced Barlow and the click lock here. All together this should be about 1.6x. The moon is high, I could go higher than 1.6x if I want to get some detailed zoomed shots. But we'll see how this goes first. All right, here we are mid-session uh, here uh, capturing the moon. I'm using the auto-tracking feature, auto-guiding, uh, to keep one spot in place, although it doesn't move much even if you don't use it. Uh, I'm doing 1,000 to 2,000 frames per image where I was, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I select moon here. I try to get the gain as high as I can to increase the frame rate and the exposure down as low as I can to um, get that frame rate up. Now with the ASI 294 you're not going to get above 7 to 16 frames per second. Now with the 224 camera of course you can get much higher than that, 100 to 200, I forget what I get with that one. But I really like the resolution on this guy. Um, and uh, that's about it. Alright, here we are on another section of the moon. So, and this is normally where I'm at with the ASI 224, somewhere in the upper threes or 400, I think. And I like to go for 70 to 85% on the histogram. But since the green bar down there is really overshooting, I guess I want to get the other two to come up. Kind of split the difference there. Something like that. That should be all right. And I will bring my control mechanism in here. I'm going to put it right on the spot where I want to keep it in, f in the center. Right there. And I'm going to start recording. And bring my guide back up. And as you can see, it's holding that spot pretty good so far. You'll note my captured versus saved is significantly different. I am recording this across gigabit ethernet to my network drive. Not the most optimal way of doing it, because then it takes forever after you're done with the recording for it to catch up. I'll turn on auto guide just for a minute here to see how it does. Alright, so there's the auto guide. And there's our spot. It'll move around a little bit. I've had to mess with the, uh, the guide rates under the options. I had to crank up the deck and R RA access values from 90 each to that for this this kind of a zoom here. Again, this is probably 1.6x. Normally you could put the uh, checkbox here and it would show you your um, focal ratio, but that's usually just with planets. I don't know what that weird interference pattern is. I hope that doesn't show up in the image. Never seen that before. And that's about it. And then after that, I'll use Auto Stackert and Reggie Stacks to sharpen it. And then a little bit in Photoshop after that. All right, here we are on another night of moon activity. I just, you know, I don't do the moon very often, but. Uh, Every once in a while, it's a lot of fun to try to see what you can see. 
And for tonight, I have switched out to the 2X arrangement. Last night was about 1.6. Decent images came out of that. Um, I used the entire advanced Barlow, the entire advanced Barlow assembly right there, and the nose piece here with the UVIR cut coming off the ASI 294 MC Pro. And that is all ready. All right, we made it to F20. Take a look around. to excite me to see the moon of all things, you know, our closest neighbor.